Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to convert the objects around you into vector patterns in Illustrator. So for example, I've got this uh, still life here, I've got this flower, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use the iPhone, we're going to capture it with Adobe Shape, and then sync it to Creative Cloud libraries right into Illustrator where we can use it as a vector pattern to fill in the skirt that I have or this dress that I have here uh, in Illustrator as a concept for a dress design. So first thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the iPhone. We're going to fire up Adobe Sketch, which is a free down, or I'm sorry, not Adobe Sketch, Adobe Shape, which they're both free downloads, but we're going to use Shape today. And what Shape will do is, as you can see, it's giving me the choice of saying, hey, this pick whichever library you want from the top, any libraries that you want, that you already have, or one you want to create. And um, if the library is empty, it will show that it's empty. If you have other uh, Shape items in there, it will show you the ones that you captured previously. So with Adobe Shape, we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign that will bring up the camera, or the ability to bring up the camera. And from here, I'm just going to go ahead and hold the flower with one hand and have shape automatically. It's already identifying it with uh, the other hand with the camera. I can adjust how good or how much it grabs. And with that, I'm going to move my hand more out of the way. We'll get a little closer there and we'll go ahead and snap it. Perfect. So now that I can put the flower down at this point, and as you can see, shape has already identified the areas of the flower. Now you see some little stray green marks down at the bottom. I can use my finger to just go ahead and subtract those out. Uh, any other stray marks that I don't want, just um, swipe them out with your finger. And then we'll go ahead and tell it to render this. So it's actually drawing this shape that it just captured with the iPhone camera uh, directly in Adobe Shape. And then from there we can name it and we're going to call it Flower. For lack of a better name flower and we'll go ahead and save it and since I had my Adobe demos library uh, chosen that's the one it's going to save it and sync it to so at this point I can put down the iPhone I'm done now I'm gonna go ahead and head back over to the desktop and on the desktop I'm in my Adobe demos library here where I can go and look for that synced item that just happened there it is there's the flower that I just brought over from the iPhone. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and drag that right into my Illustrator uh, document. And as you can see, it brought it in as a shape. Let's go ahead and uh, it's nice and big, which is great. Let's go ahead and scale it down though. Uh, hold down a shift key, just grab a corner and scale it down because we don't need it to be nearly that big. All right. And there was one little stray mark I see down there at the bottom that I did not get. So we'll use our direct selection tool to kind of lasso that and delete it. All right, so now we should be uh, just to the shape of the shape of the flower. And at this point, we can fill it with a different color. So I'm going to fill it with a nice blue or purple pattern here. Uh, somewhere in there, we pick a nice color for it. And there's our new flower. And again, we can continue to scale this down. We don't need it to be quite so large scale it down quite a bit and now at this point we can do whatever we want to do with it it's a vector image that came from our iPhone using Adobe shape to capture it and now what I'll do is just simply go ahead and select it and we'll use a built-in illustrator feature to make a pattern now the pattern making in illustrator improved quite a bit over the last couple versions so let's go ahead and take a look at how it works we'll go to object we go to pattern and we go to make and that will bring up the pattern making interface. So at this point you can do whatever you want to your object. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab it. We can uh, rotate it. We can, and I didn't grab all of it, but we can tilt it. We can scale it. We can do whatever we want and get our nice repeating pattern. If we don't want the repeating pattern to be in the grid, we can say brick by row. We can say brick by column. We can say that we want a hex by column. We can say that we want a hex by row. 
and I actually like the hex by column. So we'll do that. And again, anything you do. So if you make it too big, then they will start to overlap each other, which you may or may not want. And I'm going to go ahead and tilt the flower back the other way. Not quite so tilt it that way, maybe right about there. And we're getting a nice repeating pattern here. So at this point, um, I could change the color if I wanted to. I can do whatever I want in this pattern. I could change the shape, but there we are. So now I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm done right here in the upper left hand corner. When I'm done, it will then have created the pattern in the pattern, um, in the patterns area <laughs> or swatches, I should say. So let's go ahead and select the dress and let's go to our fill. And because we have the new pattern there to fill from, we'll just click and there's my new pattern dress based on something I just grabbed with my iPhone, didn't have to draw it by hand, didn't have to bring in something to scan it and trace it, just simply capturing it with the free Adobe Shape, syncing it to my Creative Cloud library, available on all my Creative Cloud computers, and I can just pull that shape in anytime I want it. So that's using Adobe Shape with Adobe Illustrator to create a custom pattern for your designs. Hope you learned something. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.